What's up everyone, The Force Unboxed here, and today I'm going to be having a look at the 3 and 3 quarter inch Han Solo figure from The Force Awakens. He is brand new, I just got him the other day. I had to order him through Amazon, I haven't had any luck with finding him in the stores. So, um, yeah, so here he is. We'll have a quick look at the box here. Uh, it's definitely one of my more favorite uh, character cards on the side right there. Of the legend himself, Han Solo. You see he's got his blaster off to the side there. He's gripping his utility belt. Got a smirk on his face. And, uh, this is the only one I have. I do have another one on the way though. It is, uh, and it'll be staying in the box. Brief little read up at the back there if you guys want to go ahead and pause. It's by far my favorite read up of any of the Force Awakens characters. You can see uh, all the other ones that you need to complete this uh, super weapon here. You need the Hosk Thug. And you need Ray from the Resistance. With uh, that does come with her lightsaber. I think it's Hosk or I think it's Hask Thug. Either way, that's uh, definitely one of the creatures that you see in the uh, cantina scene at Maz Kanata's castle. A little side view there for you in the packaging. One last look at Han Solo on the card. I'll put this off to the side, and we'll get down to the figure itself. I was really super happy to receive this figure the other day. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with them, and um, in regards to in comparison to the Black Series uh, figure, this is pretty much just like a mini me, and uh, I, I couldn't be happier with the way that they t this uh, three and three quarter inch figure turned out. Uh, unfortunately, at the back, the um, the leather jacket is less convincing. It doesn't have all the little creases that the Black Series uh, figure has, so it's kind of lacking in. Uh, uh, that sense of quality, but nonetheless, it's still a really good figure. I'm still really happy with it. His boots come up to the the knees there. He's got his utility belt painted on. Comes with a working holster. His jacket, I think you can take it off, but once again, the arms are painted on, so that would just kind of look silly. Really glossy uh, paint job that they did there on the face. Uh, really great head sculpt as well. Looks just like Harrison Ford when you turn him to the side. Really happy with this figure. His hair does have uh, subtle tinges of gray in it. However, a majority of it is uh, a light brown. Which again, they were just kind of being generous, I think. Because he is more of a silver fox in the movie itself. Yeah, so I really dig this figure. Standard five points of articulation, you turn his head. He does nod ever so slightly a little bit. Uh, his hands, arms go up, I mean. His legs go up as well. And that's pretty much it. We'll have a quick look at his blaster here. Stand him up there for you guys. I love the details on this thing, it's so cool. The way that they painted the grip. A quick look at the other side. Really cool accessory to uh, go with a really cool figure. I'll put it in his other hand. I like to put it in their left hand because, uh, like I said in another one of my videos, uh, the, the right hand tends to be a little bit looser of a grip than this one here. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We'll put it in his holster for now. It's an okay hold. Not too bad. I feel as though if you were to tilt him upside down like and do that for a little bit, it would... Uh, obviously you slide out. So yeah, really happy to have this figure. And uh, I just picked up a Chewbacca, 3 and 3 quarter inch Chewbacca, the other day. Uh, he's def I don't think he's 3 and 3 quarter inch, but I got him right here anyways. Together those two look badass. Heck yeah. You can see he's got his bow caster right there. So yeah. All right, I'll bring the box back in. Stand up a little bit. He does come with an extra piece. I uh, I, don't, I don't keep the extra pieces. I don't I don't usually I like I just toss them. I just chuck them in like a, a side bin if and just in case I ever want to go back to those. They're not really important to me. Uh, I'm just really here for the figure itself. 
So yeah, that's Han Solo for you, ladies and gentlemen, three and three quarter inch figure. And that just about wraps up my review for today. So if you guys like what you see, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the comment section down below if you guys want to talk Star Wars. Uh, hit me uh, up on PlayStation Network if you guys want to have a game of Battlefront. My gamer tag will be in the description below. And if you uh, want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter handle is at the Force Unboxed. Uh, and that will be also down in the description below. And thanks again, for, or as always, for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.